tell me which author wrote it. Ready? Here's the first one. So we beat on. Boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. Which author wrote the closing line? Hmm? F. Scott Fitzgerald, George Orwell, or Ernest Hemingway? Who wrote it? All right, 47% of you said Ernest Hemingway. Ah, it was F. Scott Fitzgerald. That's the last sentence from The Great Gatsby. Here's the next one for you, okay? Curly and Carlson looked after them, and Carlson said, Now what the hell you suppose is eating them two guys? Which author wrote that closing line? Was it Stephen King, John Steinbeck, or J.D. Salinger? Mm. Smarter day hitting you harder than a ton of bricks. Okay, okay, 43% of you said John Steinbeck. It was John Steinbeck. That's the last sentence from Of Mice and Men. Okay, nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's get it cracking with question number one. In internet technology, what does FTP stand for? Fluttershy the Pony, File Transfer Protocol, or Fish Turtle Lab. What is it going to be? All right, three-letter combos can stand for a lot of stuff. But if you're talking online tech, bet on File Transfer Protocol, Okay. When we finally get the technology to download tacos, maybe that'll change. 73,356 of you got it right. File transfer protocol, y'all. Question number two. According to the old joke, how does one get to Carnegie Hall? Ride chair app, e-scooter, or practice? Dancing to the music in my head, y'all. All right, music teachers love throwing this one in your face, okay? You get there with practice. Practice. Makes perfect. The famed concert hall is associated so much with the joke that they made a whole section of their website dedicated to explaining it. Overkill. Just a little bit. 72,307 of you. Got it right. That's the only way to get to Carnegie Hall is with practice, fam. Make sure you pick up, pick up some extra lives. Before we move forward tonight, okay? You can use up to three in a game. You can use them up to question 18 tonight. That means not on question 18. And of course, you can always re-up on Extra Lives by tapping on the heart icon below. Don't get knocked out on a tough question, okay? I don't want that to happen to you. I don't want you to miss your chances of money. Here we go. Question number three. Which of these dishes is typically suitable for vegan diets? Baba ganoush, osobuco, or arroz con pollo? Vegetarians, beware of anything with pollo. That's Spanish for chicken. And vegan also buco loses something in the translation, as it's supposed to contain veal, okay? Stick with flavorful eggplant-based baba ganoush. Yeah, yeah. Little baba ganoush. Baba ganoush. That's my rap name. Yeah, baba. Baba ganoush. Woo. Sorry. Question number four. The Renaissance came right after what period of European history? Industrial Revolution, Middle Ages, or Late Antiquity? Locking those answers, and then I'm going to tell you what it is. That's how this game works. Okay, I reviewed the photos of the Industrial Revolution, and the camera was not around during the Renaissance. And the Renaissance did come after the fall of Rome, but in between, they had to go through those pesky Middle Ages. Right on in there. 57,854. Got it right. The Middle Ages, baby. Uh, Middle Ages. Yeah. All right. This is my favorite. Here we go for the children. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Ah, 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 ah. 
question five is for the children. Also, make sure you add a point multiplier, okay? You can get one right now if you see it on your screen. That way you can multiply your points by five, ten, or fifteen times. Okay? What level y'all on right now? Huh? Huh? I asked this before, but I was I really want to know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Question number five. On what temperature scale is zero degrees the freezing point of water? Kelvin, Celsius, or Fahrenheit. Zero for freezing, a hundred for boiling. I don't want you now. It's too late. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's time for the first prize of the night. Oh, question six. Salt that is allegedly from the Himalayas typically has what color? Pink, gold, or tan? Salt. All right. Cool, cool. 57. Here we go. Q7. Two hosts of a famous car themed public radio show. I love to park the car in Harvard Yard. Click and clack. Where car talks, Tom and Ray. Uh, Magliozzi. Yeah. They gave the Kennedys a run for their money in the heavy Boston accent department. Click and clack. Click and clack. How you like me now? 24,000. Got it right. Moving on to question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. <laughs> hey, what's up, Nate? How you doing? Here we go. Q8. Which film was not nominated for a Best Picture Oscar? The year crashed. Munich, Capote, or Memoirs of a Geisha. If you get this right, you won't get an award. But you're that much closer to a prize. In 2006, Crash won. We all remember that, okay? But even though Memoirs of a Geisha got three wins, it didn't get a Best Picture nomination. 16,414 of you knew that. Congratulations! Now we gotta say congratulations. The right answer's memoir of a geisha. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What? Okay. Question number nine. Which of these animals is vulpe? Fox, wolf, or horse? Vulpine. Okay. Don't get your equine horses and your lupine wolves mixed up with the fox. The ancient Latin uh, speakers called the fox vulps. And that's where basically all of those words came from. Not to be confused with Vulcans, though they both have pointy ears. 14,457. Oh, yep. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Yo, that just blew my mind. That's why. The little fox Pokemon is a Vulpix. Shut up! Whoa! I was like, what is this? Maybe because he's a fire Pokemon volcano? I don't know. Wow. I, this job makes me smarter every day. Just a little bit. Here we go. Question number 10. Time to get it in. In the King James Bible, 
Which of these books is part of the Old Testament? Lamentations, Hebrews, or Romans? Old Testament, y'all. New and old when it comes to the Bible, it's all relevant, okay? Romans and Hebrews are books in the New Testament. But even though early Christians had a lot to lament about, Lamentations is an Old Testament book. 13,489 of you got it right. Well, but once upon a time in a kingdom far away. That was uh, Boys to Men from the Prince of Egypt soundtrack. Okay. <laughs> question 11 is another prize. Let's get it. All dogs go to heaven at question 11. Uh, R.I.P. to Q, the fish. I'm so sad. Me and Ellen looked in the tank and he was just getting eaten by a little crab. Uh, I gotta go get it. I'm gonna wait a while. Question 11. Here we go. The, the author of the line, This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. Also wrote what poem? Second coming? The Howl. Howl. Or Ash Wednesday. It wasn't the Howl. It was the second coming Howl or Ash Wednesday. Okay. All the literary nerds can tell you T.S. Eliot wrote the Howl, the Hollow Men, and Ash Wednesday. <laughs> By the way, T.S. Eliot later regretted the way the world ends line, saying that he had no idea how the world would end. You and me both, buddy. That's a savage question right there. 5,861 of you have got Ash Wednesday. That's the answer we were looking for. Yeah, yeah. That means I'm offering 854 coins to 5,861 players. 854 coins, going out to 5,861 of you, if you want it. we got seven questions until the next prize. The choice is yours, babies. Ooh-wee! 3,401 of you chose to take 854 coins. That ain't bad! All right, we still have 8,300 in the game. Here we go, Q12. What is unique about the new Tetris game released for the Nintendo Switch this year? Number of opponents, length of game, or shape of board. What's it going to be, fam? All right, we've all played regular old arcade Tetris, but so far only Switch players have checked out the massively multiplayer Tetris 99, featuring you and 98 other online players, creating what can only be called a busy screen. It's a busy, busy screen right there. That was a little bit savage. A little bit. Just a little bit. All right, here we go. Q13, Jelly Beans. Which location does not have a popular Hold'em variety of poker named after it? Texas, Omaha, or Atlantic City? 